Dear students of class 8, the following points you see, as per these following points, I shall teach lesson number 1 and complete teaching of lesson number 1 and the syllabus of first unit test. Point number 1, powers and functions of the Indian parliament. What are the powers? and functions of the Indian Parliament. Number one, legislative power. What are the legislative power? The Parliament can make laws on 97 subjects of the Indian list and 47 subjects of uh, 47 subjects on the concurrent list. Now, the Parliament at the same time uh, on a subject in the concurrent list, on a subject, the concurrent list, both the parliament and the state can make laws. But the laws of the parliament, the laws of the parliament surpasses the laws of the state, which establishes the superiority of parliament. That means parliament proves proves it that parliament the role of parliament is more important than the role of state legislatures so by this way parliament establishes its influence over the state legislature the parliament has the residuary power to make laws residuary power to make laws there is there are some subjects on which parliament can make law on uh, make law but uh, on a subject which is neither in the Indian list nor in the state list uh, nor in the you know concurrent list the parliament can make law and this process of making law is known as residuary power of the parliament so this is the legislative power of the parliament second one financial power the parliament means the two houses, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Now, Lok Sabha is more powerful than the Rajya Sabha, you know. Lok Sabha, you know, uh, manage, manages, the, or manages the financial matters of the country. How? It passes the annual budget for the financial year and also can pass laws uh, related to money related to money or related to uh, income of the government increasing of income of the government uh, in that case the Rajya Sabha has no power to reject it the maximum time the Rajya Sabha can reject uh, Rajya Sabha can uh, Rajya Sabha uh, can do is delay of 14 days but sometimes Rajya Sabha can suggest to make some changes in the uh, process of bill but the suggestion, whatever is there from the part of Rajya Sabha, the Lok Sabha can accept it or can deny it also. And next one, control over executive. Control over executive. The parliament can establish, this, uh, can establish its control over the executive. How? Because the prime minister and the council of ministers, they remain in the office and can work by establishing their influence, by establishing their confidence on the house. If house, if they are able to establish their confidence on the house and confidence house can accept that the government which is running they have full majority, they have confidence. In that case, they can uh, remain in the office, otherwise the whole ministry has to resign. Apart from this, parliament can, make, parliament can raise various types of questions regarding their uh, policies, regarding their work, regarding their, you know, uh, financial capabilities, regarding the, regarding the procedure by which uh, they are uh, 
uh, framing various types of laws and by this way the parliament can establish uh, a, its influence over the executive and next one constituent functions under article number 368 of the constitution the parliament can amend the constitution and in that case the house it needs the you know the consent of the two houses with full majority or to have two third majority of the houses in certain specific cases and next one electoral function electoral funds elected members of the both houses of parliament can the elected member of both houses of the parliament means the members of the Lok Sabha and the members of the Rajya Sabha they uh, elect the president or the vice president that means the president is elected by the elected members of both the two houses of parliament the, Rajya, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha and vice president also but the system is uh, in some cases in some cases the parliament uh, takes special action when the time when some members avoid to take part the election that means parliament has special influence to make it understand all the members of both the two houses of parliament that the election for the president and vice president is important and hence the presence of the members on that very day the elections uh, will be uh, the elections uh, are held both for the president and vice president is important and next one judicial functions the parliament has the power the parliament has the power to summon the chief justice of the supreme court the mp sorry the parliament has the power to impeach the chief justice of the supreme court high court and the judges of the supreme court and high courts the parliament can penalize a person for disturbing its working in the house or for breaking the law and order in the house the parliament can um, penalize the very person whether uh, very person whether he is an influential one or an ordinary one or very shy in nature but thing is that if person if that very person disturbs the way of debates and discussion in the house in presence of the speaker uh, or uh, in presence of uh, in, in presence of the speaker or deputy speaker the person can penalize the the, uh, the person means the speaker or the deputy speaker that means the parliament can the parliament can penalize the person for disturbing the house or for uh, disres for making disrespect to the house or to the chair of the speaker or the speaker up to this so teaching of this lesson is completed my dear students and also syllabus for first unit test now get yourself prepared for the you know revision test through online the date also i have mentioned you watch your uh, tenor and you will see